Hi, my name is Ali Shusba from Breacher Digital. In this short introductory video, we're going to talk about how the back EMF of an inductor can get extremely huge unless you provide an alternative current path for it. We're going to have an experimental setup and we're going to show the waveforms. Okay, so here's the circuit that I've got. I've got a battery. In my case, it's only a 9 volt PP3 battery. Then a very crude mechanical switch. And then I have an inductor, which I've tapped off in the middle so that I can have a look at the current. And that goes back to the negative terminal of the battery, which I'm going to call my ground. Now here, I have a 230 volt LED light bulb. This is in fact a string of LEDs and it will take around minim a minimum of 170 volts for this to actually turn on. So what's going to happen is that I'm going to close the switch and so therefore during a turn on period the switch is closed. The current is going to flow this way down through the inductor. Now at some point I am going to open the switch. Uh, as I open this switch it's a mechanical switch, you'll see it's quite literally clip on the, uh, on the battery. The inductor, as we discussed earlier, will want to try to force the current to follow in exactly the same way. So the, a back EMF will appear across the inductor, which looks like this. Now imagine that this part is gone out of the picture. This will not turn on until you reach around 230 volts, let's say. And what will happen is that this end will go positive with respect to that end, that will, end will go negative. But this end is tied to ground. So if that is tied to zero, and this is 200, 300 volts lower than this point, here will reach around minus 300 volts. When it approaches around 170 to 200 volts, these diodes will start to conduct and the current will flow through these diodes. Note that the flow of the current through the inductor will stay the same. This end becomes very negative compared to that end and these will start to conduct and you'll see a flash of light from these despite the fact that the battery was only 9 volts and these will turn on at something more than uh, 170 volts and then we show the waveforms on an oscilloscope and this is extremely common in a switch mode power supply it's just that instead of a massive bunch of LEDs typically in a DC DC converter you just have one diode so instead of the back EMF being allowed to reach such a high voltage um, it will the, the diode will switch on after let's say one volt which is the full drop of the diode so let's go to the lab and let's have a look at um, the setup Okay, so here I've got my setup. I have got here a pretty huge inductor that is actually out of a motor. Uh, and then I've got just a nine volt battery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect this inductor in parallel with the battery. And the current is gonna flow out of the positive terminal of the battery, conventional current, through the massive coil, come out and go to ground, right? And then I'm just going to disconnect that. When I disconnect that, there is no path for the current to go uh, and therefore there's going to be a back EMF that's going to be induced across this inductor. There will be a spark as I disconnect this and here I have got a standard 240 volt uh, LED um, light bulb. I've taken the, this off so that you can see it a little bit better um, and the amount of energy that is stored in this inductor will then be dissipated as soon as these diodes will become forward biased which will be so when the voltage goes beyond around 170 volts. We will look at the voltage across this with this probe um, um, on the oscilloscope and we will see how we can generate a massive back EMF across this inductor from just a 9 volt battery. So first, uh, let us have a look at the, uh, the oscilloscope. I'm going to close and open the switch. There we go. And I can do it several times. Now, if I now use the cursors, actually you can see right here that the minimum is minus 368 volts. So uh, this point here is around minus 368 volts. Okay, and this point here 
is the point that I disconnected the battery and the back EMF immediately flips, goes to negative and at this point here something happens in the light bulb. This, and, and there may very well be a spark at the terminal and then the voltage is allowed to drop because the energy in the inductor is now then being dissipated in the light bulb. To show that the, this 9 volt battery is actually lighting up a 230 volt light bulb, I'm actually going to zoom into this. We're going to turn off the lights because otherwise you don't see it. Of course, obviously the energy stored in the inductor is quite small, but you should be able to see the flash. So I'm going to turn the lights off. I'm going to zoom into this and then we can have a look to see um, how large the real back EMF of this inductor is getting to light this up. Okay, there we go. You can actually hear and perhaps see the spark and should be able to see the light bulb. 